This is the third Christmas card in the 2021 Christmas card series that I have set out to do. And I hope you have enjoyed card number one and card number two, which was the Santa and Christmas tree version. Let's get started on card number three. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will enjoy the videos that I create while I learn and subscribe to my channel to join me in this journey. Your comments are always appreciated. The thumbs up help my channel and that notification bell, of course, lets you know when I upload additional content. First thing I want to do in creating this card is get started by laying down some color. And I'm creating a number of sheets off of my gel press, which will provide me with a base for an ornament, which I shall punch with my two inch hole punch to create the Christmas ornament. So let's just get some color laid down. I laid down a, a Prussian blue or a royal blue. I came back with the cold gray, and now I'm adding a layer of gold. So I have done that over and over, and these are the finished results of those gel press poles. And I'm gonna choose my favorite, which I think might be this one right here, and create my ornaments from these. I'll set those aside and we'll get the substrate or the card structure together. So this is a six inch by six inch piece of white cardstock. I'm simply scoring it at three inches. I'm taking my antique gold color, just spreading it on the card. I squirted the paint right on the card and spread it with my brayer. I have a cosmetic sponge that I'm taking a bit of that uh, Prussian blue and dabbing to add just some color to the background of this card. Stenciling with the blue. And I think I'm happy with the way that looks. So we shall do the same thing on the inside of these. However, I think instead of using that stencil, I'm going to lay a little bit of this cardboard down on that gold and see what kind of images we can get or marks we can make with that cardboard and just pound in some of that blue with that cosmetic sponge. Coming back again with the stencil, just to add that little bit of structured mark making across the inside of the card. And I'll take that same cosmetic sponge and go around the folds in the outside edges. And quick and easy as that, the base of that card is complete. The piece of paper that we printed or the white card stuck that we printed on the gel press early, I'm going to bring back in, punch some ornaments out of with my two inch hole punch, secure those in an embossing folder, run it through my Big Shot, and utilize the stays on black ink pad to bring out that relief on those ornaments that was created with that embossing folder. And what I would like to do now is just choose which ornament will be represented on the front of this card. And I think I've decided on this one. And I have a stamp that is that ornament top. So we'll position that, <clears throat> get it in place, ink up that stamp, and just come back in with a simple stamp that puts that ornament topper on that embossed ornament. The gel press embossed ornament. And I cut uh, some white card stock that is smaller, about a half inch, or not a half inch, about a quarter of an inch smaller. So I cut it uh, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. 
and I will be placing the ornaments on this white piece of cardstock. And once we get the ornament topper stamped on those, we'll trim around the outside edges and utilize this to glue to the inside of our card there. So that will fit right on that inside front cover of our card. And we'll do a couple of ornaments or maybe just one on the other side to give us room for our greeting or room to write a little something. We'll stamp that ornament topper there. So we have that in place for the inside. Let's just ink around the outside edges of both. and glue this one in place. We have it complete. I'm trying to determine which direction I want that ornament, but I think I like it at the top. So now that I've decided, let's just stamp a little Merry Christmas along the bottom. And that gives us plenty of room to write a little personal message on the card. So we'll glue that in place. I'm going to put the glue on the back, lay it on top, and fold that over to make sure I have it positioned in line. So there are a couple of the finished cards. So I think those are starting to look well. I don't think that one's lined up quite right, so I'm going to peel that off real fast and just reline it up to make sure that I have it on there correctly. There we go. That That's better. I've covered a portion of the flap with the same white cardstock that I used to create the ornaments. And I did that because there was a glue stain. I'm using what I have in stock. And these are self-adhesive envelopes that the glue had bled through and left kind of an ugly mark. So I am covering that with that blue strip. Stamping Merry Christmas on the bottom right hand side. And this completes a very simple, very easy holiday card that you can send to your friends and family, include a personal message and how easy is that? So very easy, very quick. And if you don't have the stamp for that ornament, draw it. it. You can so simply draw that or illustrate that with a micro pen and a fine paintbrush with acrylic paint. It would be simple to do. These are the finished cards of the ornament style. I also did the wax Santa and the gel press Christmas trees. I hope you will Look at those other videos if you haven't seen them already. I've included the playlist here. I have another one in my head, so I'm going to get that one done today, I think, and loaded here soon. So to those of you that have already subscribed, I appreciate it very much. And your comments always make me smile and make me happy. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Happy holidays and bye for now.